on Friday, drive and compete all day Saturday and Sunday, and be back for the next week on Monday. We're going to take the same con concept and apply it to the West Coast Series. This is the epitome of weekend racing. Now GFR will take care of all the funding towards transportation and logistics, while your investment goes towards paying for track leases and track workers, but also tech inspectors, car engineers, and the racing consumables that the GFC will supply to the racers. Here's my favorite part, how we at GFR minimize our pollution in motorsport. Our car achieves nine kilometers per liter in racing conditions, while our competitors can only average 4.6. And in 2014, we'll have a flex fuel compatible powertrain, and we currently have a buyback program which allows us to take the car back after the customer is done using it and recycle all the material. Likewise, our company is also eco-friendly. By 2020, we'll be a zero material waste facility. We already have solar panels that give us 30% of the electricity needs daily, but for the other 70%, we're committed to partnering with green energy suppliers that capture their energy from wind and solar, renewable resources. We also encourage our employees to participate in community outreach programs, such as cleanup projects around the Charlotte area. For our track and racing series, we have a dedicated track cleanup crew who collect any wreckage, spilled oil or fuel, even used tires to be recycled, and garbage around the paddock area so that we have the cleanest racing series out there. And we also have the most fuel efficient trucks and choose the best routes to and from the events to save fuel. And that's how we at GFR reduce, reuse, and recycle. Jensen? Well, we've taken a look at how much the cars cost to buy. Let's take a look at how much they cost to compete in a series of racing. Instantly see Formula Ford shoot up. They're having you travel across the country. All those logistics costs are out of the pocketbooks of our customers. And with such an initial starting price as to buy the KTM Crossbow, 115000 is too much as well. We're offering a car and a season of racing for under $35,000. And we can still make profit. Here's a revenue breakdown of our 2014 series. We're projecting just under $800,000 revenue in the first year. And when we factor in costs such as supply and logistics, we're estimating a profit of 180,000 in just the first year of operations. Now in 2015, with expansion into the West, we can double our revenue and increasing profit margin, therefore coming in with $610,000 in the second year. Now filling seats, marketing promotion, everything else leading to 2017, total series profit of $2.7 million. Now how much of this will you receive? Well, with $270,000 initial investment, you'll receive 45% equity ownership in the company. That means you'll receive 45% of our profit annually. That will break you even in 2015, and by 2017, leave you with a total return on your investment of $1.2 million. Let me highlight that again. With an initial investment of $270,000, you'll receive a total return of $1.2 million. That is a return on investment of $950,000 in just four years. Let me summarize what you're doing today. First off, I'll tell you what we did. We talked about our car and competitors, the prices and the performances that made them the best. Next, we highlighted the racing series, showing you that the customers exist and are willing to buy. We have the logistics laid to make this a success and also the plans for growth to leave you with a nice return on your investment after just four years. Again, we're environmentally responsible. With a 2020 plan to become zero material waste, we have a buyback program to purchase all of our cars back, and we waste recycle. We care about the earth and its prosperity as well. And with an investment opportunity in GFR, an initial investment of $270,000 will leave you a total return of $1.2 million in just four years. On behalf of Global's Formula Racing, I say thank you and we'll now take any questions you may have at this time.